not around, some still around, and and we here, man. This twenty twenty, baby. That's the that's the dynamic part, like especially for me. And I think about every day. I said, wow, man. I'm still doing this, and this, and it feel, and it, you feel like how the apostles feel. You feel eager. You feel, you feel, um, you feel obligated. It feels good, man. And even if you know, you listen, man. You, you're not, you're not perfect, but you are perfect. In the spirit of Hashem Al because you war in the flesh, and the, and the um, spirit is fighting each other. So you warring in yourself, and you got another war to fight outside the world. And all the elements, anything you go into, it's always a, it's always a world. You go to work, that's a whole other world. You go home, that's another world. You walk down the goddamn block, you're in a whole other world. You go to the supermarket, you got a world. Of, it's everywhere. It's a whole fight. You don't know what the hell. You don't know what you're going out there into. But you got to have faith in Yahweh watching now, Shah. He builds you up. The Lord Yahweh doeth, doeth build up Jerusalem. The Roshanum, the city, the people, his people. He built us up. He gathered together the outcasts of Israel. And we the out we've been outcasts. We've been, now we brought back together. And we here, man. We here now, baby. And you know how we know we're here? Because pro Donald Trump said the the prophecy, the prophet the prophecy of doom. I was watching the I was watching it. I should have I should have added to it. Let me see. Let me see if I can get something real fast. Let me see. I was watching them last night, and it was, it was like one minute. I guess I could let you should hear that. And you already heard it. And y'all heard it. It was crazy. Like, that was dynamic, though, for what he said, because now he's talking about us. He's talking about us, man. The prophecies. The prophets. Salakia. Listen, this, this is what he said. Come on. I got commercials to lock you. With U.S. companies and researchers leading the way, we are on the threshold of virtually unlimited reserves of energy, including from traditional fuels, LNG, clean coal, next generation nuclear power, and gas hydrate technologies. At the same time, I'm proud to report the United States is among the cleanest air and drinking water on Earth. And we're going to keep it that way. And we just came out with a report that at this moment, it's the cleanest it's been in the last 40 years. We're committed to conserving the majesty of God's creation and the natural beauty of our world. Today, I'm pleased to announce the United States will join One Trillion Trees Initiative being launched here at the World Economic Forum. One Trillion Trees. This is not a time for pessimism. This is a time for optimism. Fear and doubt is not a good thought process because this is a time for tremendous hope and joy and optimism and action. But to embrace the possibilities of tomorrow, we must reject the perennial prophets of doom <laughs> and their perennial predictions of, of doom. So lucky, the perennial prophets of doom. Forget about hearing the rest. <laughs> the premium prophets of doom. You cannot go around your house by shot. All right, what he said? He said, um, um, warn them of me, Salaki. I'm Salaki, I'm probably going crazy far, but gloominess, gloominess is coming. You think, what we, what we, what, what, what else is there to look forward to? This motherfucker, oh, Salaki, this, this dude right here just lied about every damn thing. He, he just, he just, the only thing that he didn't tell that he the only thing he told the truth about about the prophecy of doom. We know we're gonna avoid the prophecy of doom. Everything else he lied about. What do you think you gonna do better than um you did you, you just did you just pulled a bush, but you did it more harsh than the bush. You went over there and just bombed the one dude. So you said, fuck it, we're not gonna bomb a whole country. Like we didn't gonna we ain't gonna run up and because a lot of presidents did that. Look and go back to um Nibishi and Nakasaki. Motherfucker dropped a bomb. So he tried to be a little cool. Let's get one guy, all right? Like this is the mob. He would have been and, and shot one. I don't know who else was in the car with him, but you ran down on one dude. So you try to you try to um. So now, <laughs> you know they always they need something else to happen so they can forget about what what else they did. So 
Maybe they, that was a cover up for what happened to Kobe. It's so fucking, these motherfuckers are so trifling. These motherfuckers are so trifling. They would do so, they don't give a fuck to cover up their mess. They would let something else happen. Just so you could talk about that. Kobe is a cover up, man. Hey, man, now all you niggas is out here crying for him. Forgot about the prophecy of doom. And whatever he just did to it, that's gonna cause that's gonna cause war, All right? Damn, Salaki, the verse just fell out of my head. Um, oh, jeez. Um, Salaki, Salaki. I'm gonna go back to where I was at because I'm I'm running time. What time? It's already thirty minutes. Is it? I'm going in. All right, let's go back. It says. Psalm chapter 147, verse 7, verse 2. The Lord build, buildeth, the Lord doeth build up Jerusalem. He gathered together the outcasts of Israel. Okay? That's what he's doing. He gathered the outcasts. We've been outcasts. We were pushed out of our land. Now we're being gathered together. Before we go to our land, we're going to get gathered all together. We're going to prophesy. And then we're going to get lifted up on those chariots. Then we're going to be, New Jerusalem is going to be coming down to get the earth cleaned up. And we're not going to be doing the work. Sloppy. We're not working no more. This is the problem. Y'all motherfuckers just don't get. We're going to sit down and relax. We're going to be in our beds. That's what the scripture said. Let's get that real fast. We'll just how to go. Um, upon our beds. I think that's Psalms. 137. I think that's 137. I just, I'm just going. I, the scriptures come to my head. I'm going to pull them out. Let's see, let's see if that's it. I think that's it. I think. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. Oh. All uh, right. says... Cause we gonna read them, but yo man, no more, cause it's tired as shit. <laughs> oh man, but this whole verse, oh man, let me see. Um, upon our beds, let me go that way. So lock it. Upon our beds. Let's see something. Five verses. All right, this is this. Uh, you know what? I'm going in. I'm going in right now. It says Psalm chapter 149, chapter verse five. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds, man. We ain't gonna be working no more, man. We gonna be getting out of bed. We gonna know. We gonna have taskmasters. We gonna have the other nations watching over our Joshua for that last thousand years. That's gonna be on the earth. And we're gonna and we're gonna make sure they do their job. We're gonna have our eyeballs gonna get red. We're gonna make sure they do their job, or I'm gonna zap you with laser beams right out of my eyes. You ain't getting none of that power. We ain't sharing no power with you. This is what you gotta be able to see. We're gonna be what we're gonna walk, we're gonna walk through a dimension, we're gonna look at, we're gonna stick our head out of the dimension. Yo. Why I shot was standing over there? <laughs> we're gonna zap them zoop. <laughs> <laughs> things we're gonna be doing those things, man. This is things you're gonna be able to see. We're gonna break up, we're gonna look, somebody gonna say, Oh, our dad, our kids gonna be flying around. Yo, this uh, ham is not lit. I, I don't know what's going I don't know. We know it's gonna be some rebellion. We're gonna, we're gonna make you rebel so we can zap. We're gonna, get, we're gonna remind you. We go to the nations who's the best. We do, can we do this to the end? We're going to be the best. What do you think he's building us for? We're getting built up, man. We're getting built up to be fantastic. All these more, um, it's a lot. I, I'm probably done went too far, but just through the spirit, man. I'm going to read these two verses again, and then I got to, uh, um, Psalms chapter 147 verse 2 The Lord doeth build up Jerusalem He gathered together the outcasts of Israel And that's what's happening He heal, he healeth the broken Verse 3 He healeth the broken in heart 
Yeah, we broken hearted, man. Oh, we yo, yo, you can't say it's not true. You made a if you made a baby with somebody and you not with the person, that's some broke hearted shit, man. Cause not only you gotta worry about the person that you made, the, the child you made, they don't get this, they don't get the experience. The and this, this place is out of fucking whack, man. All right, it's not a good place, man. So we need healing. We need to be healed. And Yahweh Shah is the healer. He's the doctor. No, he's the sufficient. He's the physician. 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 He's the one that's coming to heal us, man. He healeth the broken heart. He healeth the broken heart. The broken in heart. And bind up their wounds, man. We wounded, man. This is some wounded shit, man. We spiritually, you know, we are, we are physically wounded, emotionally wounded. And our spirit is being healed right now. And we need y'all watching our shot. We need Yahweh to send Yahweh shot back with the angels, man. You know, we broken, man. We need to be fixed. All prayers and honor is blood of Yahweh Shalom to the Hakim. Shalom.